Welcome back, everybody. We're going to continue painting this space, and we've got the areas all blocked out for color, and now it's time to start painting. So we are going to go, we're going to start with the skin. I'm going to start with the skin. So I'm going to go to my skin layer right here, and the transparent pixels are locked. Just a reminder that we want to lock those transparent pixels so we cannot paint outside our lines, right? If I scribble over my page, it's not going to go anywhere, but on the skin. So, let's get a brush that's gonna work for me. Because this is skin, I'm gonna go with a soft brush here. I'll try this soft round one. Actually, let me get to the brushes. Since it's skin, I'm gonna go to the uh, soft round pressure brush right there. Go here, let's make it bigger. I'm gonna check the opacity and the flow. Uh, my opacity is too high. Um, I want it maybe like 30. And at this stage, by the way, you can change whatever color you have. So let's just do that first. So um, if I wanted to change this color of the skin, I could get my paint bucket. Let me pick the skin color. Let's say I want to make it a little more orange, a little more yellow. I could do that. And I could dump in a color with a paint bucket, and it'll fill it all. Again, since the transparent pixels are locked, it uh, won't go outside anywhere. It'll just be in contained with what I have uh, already painted. So I'm not crazy about it being that yellow. Let me see. Now, now I'm messing with it. Okay, it's not too bad. A little warm, but that's fine. A little more. It just takes minor tweaks here to kind of move the skin color around. Um, I think that's fine. I'll stick with this. And let's go back to the brush. Now I'm going to go ahead and drag my um, triangle here, drag it a little darker for shade and a little more saturated towards the reds for now. Okay, let's just, just a little bit. Let's see. And now I'm gonna pick my um, areas where I think the shadow's gonna be. So I have to come up with a light source, which I'm just gonna do top right, and the dark side of the face will be over here. And I'm gonna move it to 50, because I'm looking at my color and it's not super, um, it's not super dark. So I hit the five on the keyboard, and I'm just, Picking out areas I think would be darker. So this side of the face, but I'm looking for shapes, not just the whole side of the face here. I'm looking to pick out things like the eye sockets, right? And even this eye socket, because your eyes are set back in your head, uh, is going to be darker than like your cheek right here, where it comes back out, right? So let's see, behind the nose over here, Maybe this whole side of the face a bit. Under the chin, on the side of the chin here. So underneath a little bit there. And kind of define the part of the neck there a little bit. Then let's see, under the nose. Usually you're going to get some shadow under your nose. Now this little uh, Cupid's bow, this little uh, dip in the lip right there. At this angle, if the light's coming there, we'll probably get a little bit of a shadow there. And it kind of makes a point there. So then it'll go like that and back down. But I might need to, I think I'm a little too dark. Let me undo, undo. Let me go try and get that shape a little bit better here. And catch this edge right there that's made by that little dip in the lip. And the nose, this is all going to be pretty much getting light Maybe around the side here, not as much. And okay, uh, cheeks yeah, um, right on the side of your mouth here. Usually there's a little, little pad. Maybe under the chin a little bit more. Okay, let's see, that's not too bad. I'm gonna define this uh, cheek a little bit here where I think this would be getting a little more light. And then in the ear, it's just going to get kind of darker in here. And then kind of pick out my shapes of the ear here. Okay, and then I'm looking at the neck. And this is a general method for, I follow for painting. And again, this is just how I was taught. And uh, it's to do shading first, and then hit highlights. Um, so base color, shading, then highlights. Let's see here. So this little muscle here. I'm not going to worry too much about the neck. 
But underneath the neck, underneath the jaw, usually it's going to be you know, a little darker there. Let's see. And that's probably good there. OK, so I'm just going to give it a look over here. Uh, the hair, because it's like got some volume here, is going to get a little shadow. Maybe right there in her head. All right, and there we go. OK, so that's my first little bit of shading. And um, it's kind of very general. I didn't go as dark as I'm going to go next. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it down just a little bit more and kind of hit my darkest areas, I guess, a little bit. I think I'll leave, let's see how it looks like. Yeah, I think I'll leave the, um, the hue, right, this, the, the hue circle there where it is. And I'll just go for, let's see, I'm at 50. Go for my darkest areas here, let's see. Yeah, a little too dark there, let's go a little lighter. This corner here because it's facing directly away from my um, light source. You kind of like a core shadow over here. And probably a little sharp kind of uh, bit right under the nose there, under the nose. And then on the nose. Okay, and then this eye socket as well. Eye sockets are usually always going to be dark. Okay. Uh, this ear right inside there is usually always going to be dark. Even under here, kind of got a lot of hair in the way there. I'm just going to cover most of that up. Maybe not the lobe, though. We'll see. I might bring some back later. Okay, then I'm thinking under the neck here. Let's see. I'm hitting the wrong button. There we go. I wonder why my cursor wasn't getting bigger. Just hitting the button below it. Okay, and there we are. Got some basic shading. Okay, that's enough to go with. So now, let's see, let's try highlights. So I'm gonna pick my original color again, somewhere that's pretty clean, and I'm gonna lighten up my tone. Maybe I'll bring it a little over back this way. Towards the yellow, a little higher. Let's see what that looks like. I think that's okay. Okay, so I'm thinking about areas that are going to get light, and I'm thinking about this cheek right here, and the forehead up here. And let's see, the nose would catch a little bit. Well, it's facing away, but I think it would still catch some. Not so much up there, maybe right here, and right here, it'd probably be a, a little so the highlight on the nose will be, uh, should have like a little specular highlight because the skin on the nose is a little oily. Um, so it'll catch that light a little bit more. Possibly the cheeks as well up here. Okay, let's see. Uh, where else can we add our highlight? I guess you know this little edge here, right? We've got these this little kind of edge on the uh, above the lip there. Uh, that's a little bright though for me. I think I'm going to tone that down. So I'm going to hit X to switch my color to the back. I'm going to go back and pick my original color in this palette over here, right? So X will switch these back and forth. I'm just going back to my original color and bringing that in because I do want it to create a little edge there. But I just didn't, I thought it might have been a little bright with that new highlight color I have. Okay, let's switch back to the original, I'm sorry, the highlight color with X. And I'm going to just hit it just a little bit there, just a little bit here. For that edge. All right, good enough. And let's see the chin here. Might get a little bit as the chin is round. I have a little bit of a highlight there. And then let's see. 
And let's see the forehead. I already got that a little bit there. I think it's pretty, pretty good. Move down to the neck. I'm not, not worrying too much about the neck right now. I'm just going to add a little bit there, a little bit on this little muscle here. It goes across. And there are some other muscles. If the neck's turned like this, that would um, start showing ligaments. and I don't know, muscles, ligaments, um, all sorts of stuff going on. But uh, the top of the clavicle a little. I'm going to kind of blend that out anyways down there. Okay, I think... I'm just about ready for the next step. So we've got a highlight, we've got the shading, and uh, in general, again, we can add a little more detail, but before I get too far, what I wanna do is add some color in here, okay? So just drawing the face or painting the face in like one color doesn't usually look that good because we have a lot of things going on, a lot of other colors kind of in the face. Um, so, namely, we have red kind of in the cheeks, in the nose, and kind of in the middle of the face. You have kind of like a red zone. In the uh, top here of the skull, we've got like a yellow kind of zone because the uh, forehead is, the skin's thin there uh, comparatively. There's not a lot of fat or anything up there. So the skull actually can kind of, uh, the lighting from the, the bones can actually kind of sh show through and make it more yellow. Where here we have a lot of blood vessels in the nose and in the cheek, making it red. And then the chin tends to be a little on the blue side. So there not, not a lot. Now, again, we're talking subtle, but those are like general rules of thumb. Um, best thing to do is look at some pictures and kind of gauge and see. Um, if the earlobes can tend to be a little red as well. Um, chest, usually a little more red as well. But again, red in the middle, a little touch of blue maybe in the bottom. And, and this isn't makeup, this is just coloring on your face and then a little yellow up top. Let's go ahead and start with the reds in the middle here and let me see what it looks like in normal mode. So, okay, if I have my original color here, I'm gonna bring it over to the reds a little bit. And let's see here. I'm gonna drop my opacity to 30 just to keep it kind of subtle. That's, that's all right. Add a little bit of red in the cheek. The other side as well. And then on the tip of the nose. Okay, that's not too bad. Maybe the earlobe as well. And then the head and get a little more on the yellow side. So let me pick the color I have. Now I already kind of did swing it a little bit towards the yellow here. Let me go a little bit more. Just kind of add a little bit, a little bit there. And again, pretty subtle. If you can't notice too much, that's kind of what I want. I want it to be kind of subtle up there. Okay, same thing with the chin here. Now I'm gonna go all the way down to these blues. And this is gonna be very slight. I'm gonna put it to 10% by hitting 10. And just kind of hit it a little bit on the chin. In the bottom of the jaw a little bit there. And then the side right here, the neck. Just to cool it down slightly. Okay, now I have a little bit of color at least going on in her face. Okay, so now that I've got that going, Let's go ahead. I'm going to go back to my kind of original color. Now it's kind of all mixed up here, so I don't have too many clean areas. Be way down here. And actually, I'm going to go. I'm just going to pick the color I already have here. Let's pick the nose, and I'm going to kind of bump up my highlights a little bit, where I think it'd be a little brighter. Let me zoom in a little there. And I got to put my percentage back up. There we go. Okay. A 
Let's see where else I think there might be a highlight. Cheek. A little bit up here on the forehead. Okay, and then here I think I'm gonna make it be a little more light here, and I got pretty dark, but it would start rounding out there. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit X, go to my original color again, bring that back. Go lighter with that. X. There we are. Something like that. And okay, now I just want to kind of detail up the eyes a little, where I got a little light. So another thing that I'm going to talk about, even though we're not doing it, is I know I'm going to add some reflected light as well. But I'm going to do that kind of like in the end. So I'm going to go a little darker, a little darker with the opacity as well. So I'm going to go to 50, just so I can be able to detail out some things here. Get these eyelids. A little better to find there. A little. Okay. And you can kind of just keep going until you're satisfied. The bottom of the nose here, I think, could use a little more shadow. Maybe under the chin. Not that much. I didn't want to lose my transition right there. I think I might have lost it a little bit. Okay, over here. And I'm going to hit X, go to my original color, and bring a little bit of that back. So, yeah. Okay. You can always soften up things. So if I, I felt like I got a little harsh here, I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna soften it up by just painting over it. Soften up those lines. I think I'm gonna work with this here. I'm gonna add another little kind of slight light over there. Tone it down a little. Right, there we go. All right, we got some skin. Okay, not too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, save the rest. I think we'll save the hair and details and lips and all that for the next video, all right? I'll see you then, and we'll work on some more of this face.